Okay, so when you have download the Star UML program and then install the extension here, you will see the Odoo uh, menu and then generate code and then configure. All right, let's uh, create a simple application for uh, demonstrating the uh, converter or generator capability. Let's create a simple academic uh, uh, application in top of Odoo, all right? Let's create first the course class which has an attribute uh, name which type of character and then the description description type of uh, let's say text okay and then uh, every uh, course has uh, can have many sessions session right this session has an attribute name with type of char and then uh, let's say description also description uh, text and then this session has another attribute called let's say start date okay start date with type date and then it has the duration duration integer okay you see the type here is uh, Odoo's uh, fields type so it will be converted to Odoo field types in our uh, Python class later okay uh, each session could have many attendee here attendee let's say it has an attribute a name uh, with type of character All right this is the base uh, class let's save this one first into our auto add-on path here let's say the name is academic academic uh, the extension if is mdg All right Okay, let's uh, create the association now. So, each course could have many sessions, right? So, it will have an aggregation uh, association. So, we drag from session to course, right? Like this. So, and uh, this uh, N will be uh, converted to course attribute so it will be uh, like session IDs right so this course this uh, every course could have uh, many or one or many sessions which will be converted into one to many fields in this course so we put here with uh, one uh, annotation right so it will be sessions ID session IDs uh, with this uh, one signal one uh, notation and then the counterpart will be the course ID so the session will have uh, uh, attribute another attribute called course ID which will be many to one to course so the notation will be this one okay so far we have this association and then uh, we continue to the next association from uh, attendee to session or session to attendee which will be uh, one session could have more one or zero or more attendee so the notation will be like this so we will add another attribute in session called let's say attendee ids with notation one and then the inside the attendee class there will be session id which will be many to one to session class all right okay so so right now we have done uh, most of our modeling 
all right so let's go to tools and then mm, configure first this is the add-on name this is the add-on name and then this is the dependencies uh, from which our add-on will will depends on right so base will be okay close and then Odoo generate code okay first we must uh, set the name of this model so we go to here the model diagram and then let's say just academic here academic here and then save this one and then convert it again so this will be uh, changed to academic okay and then put that into your add-ons path here so if you have a existing folder called academic uh, you must first delete this one because the generator the extension cannot replace the existing folder so you just uh, click open here all right let's see what we got in the academic folder so i have opened the uh, academic folder here let's see okay we have the model view and then the manifest and then the init let's see the manifest first all right we have depend ourselves to base and then we have the data here the security and then the menu course session attendee according to what we have in the diagram all right okay let's see the menu first the menu will be inside the view folder menu right so we have the top menu the academic top menu and then the sub menu which is also the academic top uh, sub menu right so every uh, menu every class menu will be uh, down here uh, okay so we see the course first we have the course xml here okay so that's amazing we have uh, created the let's see the tree the form the search view the kanban view the graph view and then the action window and then the sub menu the menu for the course right which is uh, should be below the sub menu okay let's see the model the course model right so this is the generated course model uh, from our diagram so we have name and the name should be automatically uh, required and then the description the text uh, fields and then we have the session ids which is uh, one too many two academic session with in first name course id and then string session and the help help is empty all right uh, help is coming from here actually uh, so every attribute here every attribute in start uml has the documentation so help will coming from here so every field every attribute has the documentation so if you need to put some help string just put it in the documentation box here all right uh, let's see the next one which is session all right session session here all right so we got the complete xml definition here three form search view right search view is uh, completed with all of the searchable uh, fields here and then the kanban view kanban right we have the basic template for the kanban and then we have the calendar right this is interesting every time we have the date or date time field here our generator will our generator will generate the calendar view automatically okay we see if a date field exists it will generate for us the calendar view oh, and then the same thing to the graph view if we have uh, at least one too many or many to one field uh, we will be uh, given with the graph view but uh, we must put the graph here manually if we need that graph all right okay so we have the next one is uh, attendee attendee 
is okay this one this is the uh, form view okay let's see uh, if we have uh, one too many relationship like the session to attendee or cost to session uh, session to attendee in the form view we have a uh, uh, notebook automatically right this one so we have the notebook to the one too many uh, relationship also we have if we have one or more uh, one too many association from this uh, object from this class then we will have two or more pages here in the notebook so for example we have uh, attendees right uh, okay that's it uh, okay let's see the attendee once again okay this one should we should be many to one all right uh, seems like the model and the view is okay for now let's see the security okay this is generated automatically also we have the all uh, access which mean like every group or everyone in the system will have uh, read access to this object if you don't need this then simply delete this one and then the full access full access will be given to the admin group system for this particular model so we have uh, six lines here because we have three model here right now all right uh, okay let's simply install this add-on in our Odoo right okay let's open the Odoo okay this is my Odoo uh, installation then we go to apps and then update app list to scan our newly created uh, add-on and then search the add-on name all right here we go this is the newly generated uh, add-ons and then simply click install let's see what happened here all right everything goes okay and then let's see the academic all right we have the course session and attendee let's create a course first like or do a level one and then this the description beginner all right we see we have the one too many tab here uh, each course have many or, or zero or many sessions right we save this one and then we can edit this one to create the session session one description all right start date let's say three third of uh, september and then duration 10 once again we have the relation automatically from this session to this attendees right so that's cool and then let's create the session two session two start date will be uh, next week let's say seven close okay we have two sessions here which belong to the first uh, course which is Odoo level one right Odoo all oh, right we have the Kanban here okay many amazing thing here okay let's see the session here all right we have two session in Kanban view and then let's see the calendar here all right right amazing this one is session one this one is session two we can actually add the grouping here uh, manually by uh, the course one all right the course ID okay let's see the attendee we can create the attendee manually here attendee one which belong to session one all right then create again attendee two to the session one again okay we have the kanban we have the list and then the import all of the odoo uh, default functionality is working good right now okay all right 
right? Okay, let's continue to the next uh, topic.